All right, boys, welcome back. It's episode three of the Newcastle career mode. Uh, I've proper enjoyed the first two episodes. I've had some good feedback from the both of them. So we are continuing. Here's episode three. Uh, I have done a few things off camera before I did start uh, the recording today. Um, what I did was I went to the squad hub and uh, basically to try and shift some dead weight. Now, at the end of the last episode, I did ask us if... Um, if I should look at trying to get Gareth Bale into the team, but I wouldn't have the financial capabilities to do that. Uh, I'd need a lot more transfer budget and a lot more wage budget especially. So what we did was we went to the squad hub, went to this financial tab here. Uh, if you press X twice on the wage, it sorts your players by wage uh, in the club. So basically we added uh, Shelby to the list, we added... Uh, who else did we add? We added a good few people from here. Um, Lejeune we added as well. Uh, Everton fans... Look at this guy, yeah, take him in, Florian Lejeune, a Newcastle legend, because of that Everton game, at least he's a legend to me as a Liverpool fan, because of that Everton game, but yeah, so we added a few of these people, Fernandez as well, just like the old people who we do have replacements for, who aren't going to get into the team, such as Andy Carroll, uh, I think we had a Clark there as well, sorry Newcastle fans, any of you watching this, if these are some of your club favourite players, but we're trying to bring in Gareth Bale, do you know what I mean? We need to free up some dead, move the dead weight. Christian Atsu, 27, 74 rated, never getting anywhere near the first team. Transfer listed, get free up 30 grand for us there. But yeah, like I'm saying, uh, we are trying to free up some dough to try and get Gareth Bale in. We did add some more players to the transfer hub. Uh, I'll show you them now. We added uh, Kamavinga, 16-year-old centre mid, uh, can play defensive mid or attacking mid, I believe. A uh, nice little box-to-box -box player here. Oh, he's recently joined and won't move again. That's quite sad. Uh, I think he's got a high potential, though, this guy. Might be a second-season purchase we could pick up. We've had the Curtis Jones there as well. Obviously, like I've mentioned, I'm a Liverpool fan. Young Liverpool lad from Tox of Curtis Jones. Um, only thing is, if we did sign Curtis Jones and his family came to watch him play at St. James's Park, then we wouldn't be allowed balloons. That's all I'll say on that topic. No one's allowed balloons in the crowd if his family do come and watch us. But I don't want to get cancelled. I can't even get cancelled for that. But we're going to move on. We're going to move on just in case. Um, we did add back. back I was going to say Bakary. I was going to say Bakary Sacco then. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even want to pronounce his first name because I don't want to disrespect my man like that. Saka from Arsenal. Little techie baller from Arsenal. I do really like this guy. Obviously, 17 years old. Um, he's not recently joined, so we could sign him if we did want. Obviously, you've got a Dharma there. Obviously, the Premier League's back now, boys. The Premier League came back last night um, as I'm recording this. Uh, being, but it's obviously behind closed doors. There's no fans. Be interesting to see Wolves when they play behind closed doors because, uh, obviously, there's no fans there, so you can hear everything. So when a Dharma's running down the wing, you'll be able to hear his ass cheeks clapping together. <laughs> but so yeah that will be interesting to watch and see obviously we can't sign josh madger either <laughs> you know we didn't want to pick up josh madger but yeah so that's what we've done off camera boys uh, we are going to try and finish off the transfer window this episode obviously we've got the whole month of august to go and few games in there so i've completely lied because there's no chance we're getting through three games and the transfer window um and the end of the transfer window in this episode but hopefully um, I get more traction to this series through this episode um, and anyone like any last minute signings you want me to make boys just let me know in the comments down below um, and hopefully I can see your comment before deadline day um, and what's it called and then get some players in do you know what I mean Andy Carroll's happy with, we're selling him go ahead lad didn't want you anyway um, yeah we've got some new player development we did get that youth player in it from the future stars or whatever it's called um, the centre back so we're going to add him in and train him up a bit because we do want him to get uh, into a good enough position to challenge for the starting 11 you can see there his defensive stats are absolutely stinky so we're going to train him up Alan St Maxman there going up to 81 rated that's what we love to see from my guy right there um, by the end of this training he'll, by the end of this season probably he'll have 99 dribbling 99 agility and 99 sprint speed which is things you absolutely love to see Um I can see us getting some big offers for St. Maxman next season. Uh, we'll probably get some big offers this season. Uh, offer for Longstaff, offer for Shelby there as well. Uh, 10 mil for Shelby. We're not selling the Longstaffs like I've already said. Um, but the only thing I want to see with uh, Shelby is whether to keep uh, Shelby and do like a player swap or not. Do you know what I mean? Um, we do want to look at going for Fingy. Oh, someone's put an offer in for Max Allens. That's a bit of a sticky one, you know. We might have to put an offer in for Aaron's because I don't want to let him go, you know. Um, obviously, we've got that Lazaro at the minute. We've got Yedlin on as a reserve or as a substitute. 
But I do want to fancy picking up Aaron's, you know. Uh, and obviously Brighton have put an offer in there, so we're going to have to put an offer in for him. Chilwell, I don't know what to pick up. We might just stick with Danny Rose for a season and see what happens. But obviously Chilwell's only going to get better. He's only 22. He's only going to get better in that price tag there. You can already see between 20 and 30 mil. That's a bit steep, actually. Uh, yeah, like I'm saying, Curtis Jones there as well. I do like uh, Curtis Jones. Obviously, we looked at Cantwell. Doesn't look like it's going to go through for Cantwell, though. Uh, obviously, a decent amount of money. And then we've got the Gareth Bale there, which would be a huge sign. But is it a waste of money, boys? We're going to blow our whole transfer budget and wage budget on a player who's only going to decline from here. Probably he's 30 years old. Do we look for building on the future or building for right now? That's the question. Let me know in the comments. Hopefully before the end of the transfer window, you will see this episode and um, get me some feedback on Gareth Bale and the other players we do have in the um, in the transfer hub here. In fact, you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to go and pro approach to buy Max Aarons and we're going to give them Mankio because like I've mentioned in the last two episodes, shout out to Robbie as well because he commented about Mankio. Absolute horror show of a player. He's an absolute comedy show. So we are going to offer a player swap, go for a fullback and give them Mankio. In fact, mm, see, I'm saying that, yeah, but he's a, a million more than Max Allen's value. So we're going to go with Kraft, or however you pronounce his name. They want Kraft plus five mil. They, like, these people get so cheeky, you know, in these, um, in these transfer negotiations here. They are lucky that I don't start swinging. Because, like, look at the, how weird that is. Four, five, nine, like... What are, you, what are you doing? Make it 4-6. I'd rather they offer 4-6 than 5-9. Because then it looks like you're trying to disrespect me. And be cheeky by doing 10 grand less and be funny or something. So, for that reason, you can have 2 mil. And I'm not giving you any more than that. Do you want 2.4 and a sell-on clause? Are you fucking kidding? Um, Remove the sell-on clause, yeah. And then you can have 2.5. How about that? Let's see what they say back to that. 4.6, nah, lad, you're skunked. That's that's higher than the original offer. Ah, uh, lad, we're going down to uh, to 3 mil. How have, they, wait there, how have they just done me like that, gone to a higher offer? What? What? I've never seen... What? You're going to take some time to consider it. I've actually never seen that on this career mode before. Didn't even know that was a feature. So what am I doing now? I'm just waiting. They've stalled me. What? I, I didn't even know. I'm actually speechless. I did not know that was a feature on this career mode. Um, bloody hell, yeah. So that just happened. But uh, we move, boys. We do move. Um, should we look at picking up Curtis Jones? I think we've already got enough midfielders, to be honest, you know. In fact, do we even have a backup camp? Say Eze gets injured, yeah. God forbid Eze gets injured. Do we have anyone who could step up and fill those boots? Could Ben Rama play camp? Now, what we could do, boys, if Eze did get injured, put Almer on in Cam, um, or even Zaha, and then just... We, we could deal, we could deal without him. Um, we're not going to go for Curtis Jones, like I mentioned before. Um, I want the Newcastle fans to have a good time when they come to the game. Um, and if they want to do gas ones, I want them to be able to do gas ones without getting smacked up. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, I'm not going to mention that again. So, we are just going to move now. Max Adams and his agent there, or Daniel Fark, the Norwich manager, cheeky. Yeah, you can see Brighton have offered 6 mil for him. Uh, yeah, that's heavy, that. So, transfer offer for Shelby has just come in as well. Oh, wait, there, they've accepted it. Wait, what? Lad, why has he just done that? 4-6 plus Emil Kraft, which is... No, I'm going to reject that. I'm actually going to reject that, you know, boys. Because Brighton offered 6 mil, and they're considering it. We offered a player with 4, and they want another, like, 4.5 on top. That's just cheeky. And I'm not going to get done over by Norwich. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, well, I've got Cantwell on my uh, transfer targets as well. So if we did go for Cantwell, he'd probably try and bum me again with a stupid fucking offer like that. But, uh, like I said, the Longstaff's going nowhere. Uh, 10 mil's a nice offer for Sean Longstaff there, but he's going nowhere. And then Monaco, 11.4 for John Joe Shelby. That's a sound offer that, you know, his release clause is 18. Now, if they really wanted him, they'd give me 18. Do you know what I mean? I might say that to them, actually. If you really want him, you can have you can have him for eighteen. Uh, delegated. Don't sell up. Well, nah, start the offer at eighteen, and don't sell for less than sixteen. All right, boys. We've just got a uh, scout report back there on that Camavinga. He's sixteen and he's seventy-five rated. That's mad, you know. That's actually mad. 
like I don't know what his potential is yet, but at 16 and 75 rated, that's actually mad. But obviously we can't sign him for uh, first season. Exciting prospect there, which means his potential is over 85, which I'm not surprised by. Um, Curtis Jones come back and so is Saka. Saka's 74 rated and he's worth 10 mil. He's an exciting prospect though. But um, I think we are overloaded on the wings. We don't even need no wingers. Uh, the defence is where we're really slacking, but I don't really know any good defenders to sign. Uh, I can't even think of any. I normally go for like the uh, the young players in the Prem, the under-21s in the Prem. That's normally the players that I look for. But um, like the likes of your... What's his name? What's that Newcastle? I mean, not Newcastle, sorry. The Chelsea Don at right-back. Daniel James? Nah, Daniel James is the Man United guy, isn't it? Whatever that guy's called, the right-back for... Uh, for Chelsea, why can't I think of his name? I don't know, but uh, Monaco have come back 16.5 mil for Shelby. Shelby, mate, you look a bit like him. I'm gonna say it. Claude from Arsenal Fan TV, John Joe Shelby, it's time to go. That's right, please. We're picking up 16.5 mil for John Joe Shelby. That is class. Uh, hopefully, that deal does go through. They can agree on contract terms. Curtis Jones, we're not gonna look at picking up. He's about 64 rated, which just isn't good. We've got a transfer offer for Yedlin. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, seven points or six point seven there. I think we're gonna keep all the Yedlin because if um, that Lazaro does get injured and we don't pick up Aaron's, then in fact we're gonna stall it until we can send an offer to uh, what's his name again, Aaron's. Hopefully, oh no, they've accepted the offer from uh, from Brighton. Oh no, uh, contract negotiations. Ah, uh, we've got a week. Oh wait there, that said the eleventh, didn't it? Oh, that's not good at all, boys. When did we have that offer uh, turned down for Max Adams? It was on the 11th. Oh, dear. Uh, so we've got a week to wait. Hopefully they don't uh, agree contract terms. But yeah, we have got the first game of the season. As you can see, we're sat in 14th at the minute. Some people have already lost. Uh, we're going to go to the press conference and see what I go on and what the press uh, what the press have to say to us. How does pre-season impact? Um, like, this press conference yeah it's a good idea the press conferences but like there's not much variety in what you say and you don't actually read the questions you just look at the picture next to each like response and then click the best one it's like this clap emoji thing like that puts a big boost to the play you see uh, phillips's morale's gone up big there like so it's a good idea from ea but again it's good but it's not quite carlin so it's just you need to work on it but we are going to play Obviously, this game against uh, Arsenal, first game of the season, massive game against uh, a decent side in Arsenal. Obviously, they got battered last night against Man City as of the time that you're watching this, or the time that I'm recording this, at least. Um, you can see the game settings here, four minutes, halves, and it's on legendary, so there's no cheating, just to show the sliders there as well, no cheating going on. Well, here he is, the debut boy. Certainly one of the most interesting features of the match we're about to bring you, and it's live. Here we are, boys. St. James's Park or the Sports Direct Arena, whatever you want to call it these days. Mike Ashley's out, so I'm sure that, um, there we go, FIFA calls it St. James's Park, so we'll keep it as that. Uh, I'm sure Mike Ashley's gone soon, so the stadium name will change. First game of the season, debuts for the new signings against a big side in Arsenal. Um, you can see us drop into defensive straight away. That doesn't mean that we're playing defensive. That just means uh, that's what our custom tactics are. Because uh, I do have custom tactics on, on career mode. Yes, that is right. If you do want to know what I'm using, just look back on the channel at my Ultimate Team uh, videos. And then you'll find it there. Because it is the uh, the same tactics that I do use on Ultimate Team. Let's see if we can get something moving. Get an attack going. Phillips into Zaha. Nice little one-two passing. Good turn from Ezzy there. Back to Phillips. I need Phillips to make more attacking runs. I might have to change the uh, the tactics there. Zaha, great turn. Near post. Oh, what a save from Leno. What a save from Leno. Leno's actually a really good keeper. I do um I do like Leno as a player. Obviously, he used to play in the Bundesliga now that Arsenal. He uh, got a team of the season, ultimate team, actually. Corner swung in. Ah, oh, corners are broke. St. Maximan. Ah, oh, he's never got the shot away. Yeah, corners are broke on this FIFA. Obviously, one of the many things that is fucked up on this FIFA. See, defensively, first 20 minutes defensively, we don't actually look that bad. Um, Arsenal have not been able to put nothing together. Obviously, they've not had that many chances to, but oh, for fuck's sake, Danny Rose, you shit cunt. See, Maxman there. That's a foul ref, surely. 
I can't even lie to you, you said this massive shadow and then the bright, bright sunny bit at the top is sending me scatty. Like, this shadow's fucking huge. I can't see shit. And then I go to the top to get away from the shadow and I can't see shit again because I'm fucking blinded by the sun. Oh, great turn from Ezzy there. He's got nowhere to go though. Almiron. Shite. What a shite, Almiron. Great from Phillips after win the ball back. Great strength. What the fuck is that Almiron? Hey, he's fucking shit. I might have to start Ben Rama even though he's a lower rating than that. Because uh, what the, like what actually was that? Yeah, I don't know how bad this is to watch as a viewer, but like this top of the pitch here is so bright on my screen. It's actually a joke. Like I literally am having to squint when I go up there because I can't see shit. Almiron giving the ball away again. Shock horror. No surprises there. Pepe. Go on, Shelby, lad. Well in, lad. Shite. Now they're looking to get pushed. Players, they try to get the goal that will put them in front. Oof, we nearly conceded there, boys. That would not have been a good start. Uh, obviously, you always want to try and get the first goal, especially in big games like these um, against big teams, because what tends to happen when you concede against big teams, you just end up crumbling. And score on uh, a conceding multiple, never mind just the one. Fabian Charlie in the counter attack. Today. What am I thinking? What am I actually thinking? On Shelby, lad. Ah, we've got no pace in the CDM position. May as well have two undertakers in the CDM position. Almiron again just getting fucking terrified by the Scotsman, Kieran Tierney. Real promise about that build up. So it's half time. Oh, fucking hell, there we go, boys. That was a long half. It felt like um, nil nil going into the break. You can see the half time stats here. Uh, I'll bring them up on the screen. Uh, one shot for us, one on target. One shot for them, none on target. Just a pretty boring game, to be honest, so far. Not much going on. To get it into the middle. Great tackle from that Lazaro there. He seems good at right back. Maybe we don't need to sign Max Allens. Um, that Lazaro is good. But obviously he's only on loan for those this season. Um, whether he's someone we go and sign in the second season remains to be seen. Good link up play from Zaha and St. Maximan there. Get inside St. Maximan. Why are you doing the exact same runners as lad? It's Zaha. Zaha! Yes! Come on, boys. Open the score on Wilfred Zaha. The big signing for the club. Most expensive player in this transfer window. And that's exactly why we signed them, boys, for the exact, the, exactly what you see in there. Nice little scoop turn inside. St. Maximum with the assist. Both of them were making the same run there, making sending me head scatty. Don't know why they were doing that. But we put it in the back of the net, and it's 1-0 to us, boys. Wilfred Zaha. Um, one thing I've just noticed there is that he's number 16, and that is triggering me. I will go and change the uh, squad numbers after this game. Don't worry about that. Anyone who, um, who likes the right squad numbers on, like I do, don't worry, I will change it after this game. We are going to make some uh, subs, boys. Ezzy's running a bit low on stamina. So what we're going to do is put Zaha in the middle there. Um, put St. Maximan up front and then bring on Ben Rama on the left. Corner. Arsenal corner in the 80th minute, boys. This might not be good. From both camps now, at the same time. Well, here comes Get out. They've gone wide. Out to him. Come on. Yes, great head of Lascelles. Big head from Shah as well. Hey, we're pinned in our box here, boys. We can't get nowhere. Phillips. What are oh, the big man coming up with the big tackle there? Oh, I'm trying to play it to Ben Rahm and he's been blocked off by Pepe. Hey, Arsenal getting aggy here, boys, in the last 10 minutes. I can't lie, the pressure's on. Can we hold out and get a 1-0 lead? Or a 1-0 win on our first game as a Newcastle manager. That's going to be it, boys. I think that's the final whistle. And it is. We've secured a 1-0 win over Arsenal. That is huge. First game of the season. First three points. A goal from the record signing. Wilfred Zaha. Absolutely class, mate. We watch it back there. Just done the defender with a scoop turn and blasted in far post. That's a great goal and a great three points uh, to secure the uh, the victory there. 
obviously we've got the post-match interview. We're just going to do these um, to start off with until everyone's on full morale. And then we will probably just skip them through the rest of the season. Very annoying feature. Um, I'd rather just click a button rather than having to go through all of these uh, animations here. Questions? There's more to come. Definitely more to come, boys. Phillips, great performance. Clear to see why I brought him in. Great, great player. As he put in a great performance. Eh, he was okay. Don't need to add unnecessary pressure. He was all right, like, as he, I can't lie. He wasn't anything spectacular in that first uh, game there. But we do have more player development here. Uh, we're going to take one of these things off St. Maximan. We don't need to train him on every one. Um, and we'll train up one of the other uh, young players that we brought in, such as Phillips. We'll bring up his defending. Uh, hopefully that does get boosted a little bit. See, Acosta there has went up to a 64 as well. He's developing into a nice player. who Hopefully we can get into the starting 11 very, very soon, boys. Um, well, not very soon, actually. I do like the guys I've got at the minute. But transfer offer for Fernandez. 8.2 mil from Ajax, valued at 9.7. We're going to delegate this and don't sell him for less than 9.5. There we go, boys. John Joe Shelby, Robbie, you'll be glad to know he's gone. 16.5 mil we've got for him. Obviously, 12.5 into the transfer budget. Um, Milan have pulled their offer out because obviously we've accepted someone else. We've got a 10.6 mil offer for Lejeune there as well. Now, that could be huge. Um the scout person values him up to 14 so we are going to delegate this again and hopefully get at least 13 or 12.5 we'll settle on actually like i've say like i said in the first and second episode i'm a wheeler and dealer i'm trying to get as much money as i possibly can uh for these players obviously we've still got that transfer offer for yedlin which we haven't uh done yet sean longstaff wants the chance um you'll have to work hard to get there mate but you are definitely one for the future now, we do have a game against Norwich here. Uh, I'm just a bit concerned about the length of this video already. My laptop is probably going to break as I try and edit this video. But um, how many games do we have left before the end of the transfer window? That is the question. Uh, a lot. We've got a lot. So, we do have a cup match against Rochdale. A Carabao Cup away game. And we've got a match against Tottenham as well. What we'll do, boys, for this episode, um, hopefully, is like the longer episodes... We're going to play the Norwich game as well in this episode and then sim to the Tottenham game. But yeah, if you do enjoy longer episodes, let me know by hitting like on this video because they do take a long time to make and a long time to edit. But yeah, if you would like shorter episodes rather than the longer episodes, do let me know in the comments as well. Um, and then I'll see what I can do for you, boys. I will see what I can do. Uh, we do have 50 million in the transfer budget and 230 grand in the wage budget. Gareth Bale looks likely now boys we could get gareth bale in now how huge would that be but i do want to look at picking up ben chilwell i can't lie to you i think that left back position does need replacing that lazaro at right back was a belter in that arsenal game then but danny rose had a few bad passes misplaced here and there so i do want to look at picking up chilwell or should we pick up Saka and play Saka at left back one for the future to develop it's up to you boys it's up to you let me know in the comments and we are going to get straight into this knowledge match Again. Oh, what? Oh, no, boys. I've just realised we sold Shelby. So, Christian Atsu's playing CDM. Oh, no. That's a disaster. Ah, hey, we're going to have to bring on uh, Longstaff. I f completely forgot about that, you know. Uh, Shelby was going to go and then... Uh, bloody hell. Yeah, let's get Atsu off and bring um, Sean Longstaff on dead quick. Sam Aximan. Go on, Ezzy. Ah, oh, poor shot, poor shot. Phillips. Almiron. Ezzy's through. One on one. He's slotted. There we go. One nil up. We've dominated this game for the first 31 minutes. Uh, I can't even lie to you. We have absolutely terrid Norwich. Uh, the pressure's just got to them. It looks like they're playing uh, high pressure or something as well because the players keep jumping out of position at the back and I'm just exposing them. We get Ezzy on the score sheet there. His first goal for Newcastle United. Very nice. Don't, didn't see who got the assist, but uh, very nice goal regardless. Rose. And a goal has gone in in the Liverpool match. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Liverpool. 35 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. 
Oh, that is a fantastic goal. That is an absolutely fantastic goal. Great build up. Uh, nice pass across from Almiron there. What is the goalie doing though? What is the keeper doing? He should save that every day of the week. Uh, St. Maxman's game face, by the way, is so ugly. He yeah, needs to sort that for the next FIFA. But look at this. The keeper should have done well better. He saved it into his own goal. It's a disaster. I think it's Tim Cruel, the Norwich goalie. Uh, or it might be one of the other 70 keepers that they've got. All right, boys, half-time stats. You see, we've dominated possession, 57%. Three shots, three on target, two goals. Norwich have had no shots against us this game so far. Uh, very easy game. It's looking like an easy three points as well. But you can never um, you can never say that for sure until the final whistle. You don't want to jinx yourself. Buendia. It's with Duda. Hernandez. Oh, no, boys. He passes around. Ah, we've conceded. He just completely tore us apart with the passing there. Timu Puki on the score sheet. Terrible hairline, Puki. Uh, ah, unlucky there. What happened? We pulled one centre back into position, and then the other one just couldn't get to it. Fabian Char, I don't know why he's backpedaled there. Like, well, I suppose the keeper, but probably would have shouted keepers. But poor defence from me there. Defender should have done better. So should the keeper. Two one in the seventy fourth minute, boys. St. Maximan, can he make it 3-1? He can, easy goal. St. Maximan and Wilfred Zaha with the link up play there. It's a fucking dream team. It's an absolute dream team. And we'll just watch the goal back on the replay. Be toxic and not skip it for Norwich. <laughs> Little drag back there from Zaha. Fake shot inside. Just too much pace for the defender there. That's all it was, that's literally all it was. Too, too much pace between uh, Zaha and St. Maximan together. Wonderfully weighted pass. And a chance here. Zaha, he's in to make it four, and I'm pissing about with it to try and be techy and put a little flair on the goal. He should have made a 4-1 there, just stat pad has got the goal difference up. Goal difference could be vital in this uh, in this career mode, St. Maximan, he takes a shot from the edge. Too easy on the block from the uh, the legendary AI there. Oh, no. What's... Oh, Shaw, what are you doing? Fabian Shaw, he just switched off. We were really lucky to get that goal, the third goal there uh, with St. Maximan. Look at this. Fabian Shaw, he's just switched off. He's just backed off and the cells doesn't get there either. Ah, uh, boys, that's two errors from... Oh no, it's Lazaro, it's not even Lascelles. It was Lascelles that backed off. I thought it was Shah. Where did, what's Shah doing then? Sorry, boys, we are going to look at the instant replay. Yeah, so it was Lascelles that stepped up um, and was out of position, and then Shah backed off, and Lazaro couldn't get the foot in. But, um, yeah, that's two errors from the partnership of Lascelles and Shah there. That isn't good. We might have to look at a backup centre-back, you know. Um... I was looking forward to using this centre-back partnership, but that's two goals they've cost us there in this game. But we do end up winning 3-2 anyway, boys, against Norwich. Secure the three points. Secure the bag. There we go, boys. We do sit second, joint first, with Liverpool just behind on goal difference. Like I did mention, goal difference might be a big feature in this um, career mode. We're on two. Liverpool are on seven. Scored eight and conceded one. Wow. Liverpool just as good on FIFA as they are in real life, obviously. Um, yeah, we do have this Costa, the centre back, the youth player, who could we could train up to be better than Lascelles and uh, what's that, Fabian Schaar as well. Um, we do have another transfer offer here for Lejeune. Uh, Everton have pulled back the contract offer for Yedlin, which is unfortunate. Benfica want to sign Lejeune for eleven mil. Uh, I can't remember what price we did give to Marseille, but we're just going to delegate it and give him the same. We've got a transfer offer for Clark, uh, seven point eight mil. We've also got one for Lascelles, which is 13.8 mil. Uh, I think that's way too low for Lascelles. That's a bit of a cheeky offer. We are just going to decline that straight away, not even counter that one. Um, and then as for Clark, um, let's see, 7.8 mil. That's more than his value. We are just going to accept that, get rid of him, free up the wage. Uh, we need to be careful because I am literally selling every centre-back we've got. So I don't even know if we'll have any backups. But 9.6 mil for Frederico Fernandez. Uh, let's get rid of him as well 35k in the wage free that up 9.6 mil 30 years old never going to use him freeing up uh, some funds there that's very very nice 
Um, we do need to look at signing backup centre backs now though, um, because literally I don't think we'll have any once those players do sell. Let's take a look at the uh, the squad hub here. If we sell Clark, Fernandez, um, and Lejeune, we literally have yeah we literally have no one. <laughs> we will need to sign some backup centre backs. Let me know in the comments who I should look at getting. Um, and yeah, we are going to sim to the uh, the Tottenham game and then call it a day, boys. But just before that, we have. Benfica have agreed, agreed 13.3 for Lejeune. We're going to wait and see what Marseille say back to us. And you can see there, Fernandez is sold. 9.6 mil, we do get 7 into the transfer budget. But yeah, boys, we are going to call it a day for this episode. But I have three questions for you guys first. Firstly, do you like the longer episodes of the career mode or should I keep it shorter, keep you guys more engaged? Let me know in the comments what would you rather see. Uh, longer episodes or shorter? Uh, the th second question is uh, who should we sign obviously it's the 23rd of august we've got a, f a week left in the transfer window let me know in the comments who you want to see me sign like i'm saying i might look at picking up ben chilwell uh, i'll show you the budget now 57 mil with 200k in the wage we could get gareth bale that's a, a player that we could look at getting um it's actually realistic for us now uh, ben chilwell as well as a player that i do want to look at getting and I've, i had a third question for you but i've completely forgot it so just answer those two uh, and I'll be very happy. Thanks very much for watching, boys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next episode, boys.